It's time to ask the age old question. Will it dumpling? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Dumpling is not just your grandma's pet name for you, it's a doughy pouch of gooey goodness. Traditionally filled with meats and veggies, yes. but this is not a traditional show, so we plucked out the traditional insides and we're gonna replace them with some interesting alternatives because it's time to ask the earth shattering, all important question <laughs> Will it dumpling? dumpling? I've heard a lot of people say, when you go camping, you can't take dumplings. Well, that's all about to change with marshmallows. Marshmallow. Marshmallow. Will, Will a dumpling? dumpling? All right, bring, Oh, look at this. It's nice a, presentation. It's a, a dumpling container. It's like we're at a restaurant. What is that called, a basket? Yeah, it's called a <laughs> dumpling basket. I've got these really cool uh, chopsticks, lightsaber chopsticks that I will be using today. Nice. And don't worry, Link, I got you some too. I know you have a little trouble with your hand. With your, with what? Your hand. Seriously? <laughs> yeah, that makes it easy for you. All right, so let's unveil. Bam. Okay, look at that. Grab oh. yours. Oh, this, is, this is actually not easy to do with uh This is uh, traditional dumpling casing, steamed with marshmallow inside. How can this not be good? Let's call this a dump mellow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That makes it more appetizing. Cha-ching. Oh, man. Oh, wow. It actually just tastes very marshmallowy. The dumpling dough is great, too. Yep. Oh, dip this in chocolate sauce. Where? Why haven't they? <laughs> Did you bring some? Um, let me let me give it another taste. That's very good. It tastes like a marshmallow with a skin on it. Any dumpling shop should take note. Add this to your dessert menu. It actually tastes like if you were to get marshmallows in the wild and they they molt like soft shell crab, it'd be like, well, the marshmallow's not molted yet, but this is how the rich people eat it. Ooh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> so, will it dumpling? Yes. yes. All right, so now let's go from sweet to savory, cheesy, let's. saucy, and generally awesome and try pizza. 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 Will, will it, it dumpling? dumpling? Oh, I am pizza so excited about this. Pizza in a dumpling. This. Surely this has been done. Ooh. Ooh, the color is unexpected. Now this is um, marinara cheese pepperoni. How, how are those chopsticks working out for you? I'm getting a little frustrated with it, but uh, I'll hang in there. I have high hopes for this one because not too long ago is when humans discovered that you can put pizza in all kinds of things, like combos. Uh, I mean, just pizza bites. I think we should so call it, it. dump pizza. <laughs> <laughs> and that's some dump pizza. Oh man, have you had a dump pizza? Mm. Man, Little League event celebrations Hold up. Are, are just clamoring for these things. Oh, oh, you know what it tastes like? It tastes like a really good, thoughtful ravioli. <laughs> this is the most thoughtful ravioli. Have you had the thoughtful ravioli? <laughs> you have to go to a dumpling restaurant to get it. <laughs> Man. Oh my. That is some thoughtful ravioli, y'all. I don't know, we have It's called dumb pizza. <laughs> we have had some interesting tastes on this show, and most of the time, they're not real good. Mm -hmm. This might be the peak of taste. This might be the on peak Willet? of taste on Willet. Especially after the marshmallow. I think we could work on the texture on the outside a little bit because it's a little too revealing. It's like a woman in a dress. <laughs> you know what, I probably won't even say that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but will it dumpling? <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. Okay, this next one is also an American classic, but it has an ingredient that Link does not like. Mm. The BLT. BLT. Will, will it, it dumpling? dumpling? Bring it in and unveil it. Ooh. Ooh. This one's also that. sheer. Sheer, that's the word I'm looking for. Now, that one looks like it has more tomatoes, which I ain't gonna hate, but I just don't like tomatoes. Tomatoes. I can't. Oh. I can't. Look, man, I know how to use these. Uh, hmm. Now there's mayo in here, in addition to bacon, lettuce, and tomato. We could just add the D, B-L-T-D, or call it bilted. <laughs> we built this we built it a few dumplings. seconds ago. And I like always just being in the scenario like we're at a restaurant, and this is the first time this has been unveiled. It's the bilted, it's amazing. Mm. A little chewy. Oh, don't worry about that. You know how when you don't like something, you can taste it immediately? Dang, man. <laughs> it's like I was saying, since I don't like tomatoes, I can taste that a little bit too much, but I think I'm finding, what is your problem? 
even though I don't like tomatoes, th this is not bad. I, I think what we're they're, finding- they're, They almost kind of cooked inside. Which I like a roasted tomato. Well, there I just you go. don't like a raw tomato. Um, so I'm loving this and I'm starting to think we should open a dumpling restaurant. Dumplings are us? Take a dumpling. Take a dumpling. Come take a dumpling. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> take a dumpling? On us. Can we get <laughs> <laughs> No, then we'd be, either we'd be paying for it or it'd be even more awkward. Either way, it doesn't they're, work. They're, we give you a free dumpling every time. Take a dumpling on us. <laughs> that would be if, it, if, if we ran a shop in the food court at the mall, that's what we would say when giving out our uh, samples. I was just trying to add to it. I wanted it to be because a team name. It is most likely that it will be a food court restaurant, any type of restaurant we open. Okay, uh, will it dumpling? Yes. yes. Okay, we're far enough into the year that we can basically chuck our New Year's resolutions yeah. entirely and any stuff that we bought associated with any resolution, like getting in shape. So we thought that we would take and put into a dumpling some protein powder. Protein, protein powder. powder. Will, Will it dumpling? Um, so, ooh, by looking at this, I really can't tell anything. No, I happening. thought this could be a good occasion because it is just protein powder in there. Yeah, there, there's no, there's no water, there's no milk, there's nothing added. There's just pure, unadulterated vanilla protein powder uh, steamed for 12 minutes. If you think this is gonna be a little dry, because it will be. <laughs> <laughs> I tend to think it will be. Um, I have some soy sauce and sh sriracha, but I think that- I'm going dry. You should go dry first. I'm gonna go dry first. You know? Oh, I can, look, if you hold it to the sun. Or just the light. <laughs> you can see the powder. I, I can see that. So we're, we're calling these uh, pumplings because they pump you up. <laughs> yep. Oh. Oh. It's hard. That powder really firm up a on pa us. It's a hardened packet of oh. <laughs> It's like somebody put an old piece of chewing gum, gum in there. Oh my goodness, vanilla chewing gum. The flavor's not bad. But I really feel like I need a little soy. I mean, at our food court restaurant, I think we're gonna have to give these away for free as like a moose bouche That's the one that's on us. <laughs> what do you mean by on us? Well, we got pumplings for free. Now, for any of you weightlifters who have made protein shakes uh, using soy sauce, soy uh, sauce, you know exactly what I'm about to experience. It doesn't help. It helps the initial. It's just a saltier version of the same thing. It's part of the strategy though. Go with me here for a second. Mm. You give people a pumpling for free, yeah. And they're like, well, their other dumplings gotta be better than this. And they try them. We can't get any worse than that, <laughs> They got a whole menu of other options. Let's throw, try it. Throw some money at us. Take mm -hmm. a dumpling. On us. But, okay, let's come to a verdict here. I think I'm there. Will it dumpling? No. Nah, nah. mm. I always say nothing livens up a party like a pair of chaps, unless you cut those chaps up and put them in a dumpling. Leather. 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 Will, Will it dumpling? dumpling? Okay, that's right, this is leather, yes. Uh, but don't be alarmed. What um, in the world? Is it actually edible? That's questionable, but it will not hurt us because it is vegetable tanned. So meaning that- Oh, whew. The it's tan vegetable tan, say no more. Like, what does that mean? It means that the tanning process typically involves like all harsh chemicals oh. and stuff that would be poisonous. So this is um, totally vegetable tanned. But it's still cow hide. It's still leather, yeah. It's cow skin. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say, this is gonna be tough. <laughs> In every sense of the word, <laughs> emotionally and physically. This is gonna be I'm a gonna little smell tough. It. it smells like a saddle under there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ba -ding, ba -ding, ba -ding. <laughs> Have a dumpling on us. You've just dipped. Well, I, you know what, maybe that's the way it's supposed to be. <laughs> we call this a leatherling. Have you eaten the leatherling from Take a Dump on Us? <laughs> oh, well, wow. It tastes like I went into one of those leather stores and asked for a sample. And they're like, no, 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 don't eat that. <laughs> I, I've chewed on my wallet before, just like in a moment of thoughtlessness. <laughs> it was just like this. Mental note, boiling leather does not make it easier to eat. But you know what, there are lots of examples in history of people getting stranded and then turning on their own belts. Survival dumpling. Because it lasts forever. It's like the ultimate beef jerky. Cowboys eating their own pants. Yeah, right, <laughs> exactly. You eat the horse and then you eat the saddle. I've chewed through everything except guess what? Oh gosh. The leather. It's kind of nice though, you know? <laughs> to not eat, but just to chew. Like leather gum. That's a good product. We could sell this at the register. It's like, oh, for five cents more, you get you some leather gum. I think it should be free, personally. I mean. Yeah, I can't get it down. It's not going anywhere. I think this will stay in my stomach forever. Ugh. 
All that being said, it, it was like pretty. Chorizo now. It was pretty okay. It could have been worse. It didn't taste bad. It looks like chorizo. It does. Put that in your eggs. Hey man, why is there some chorizo in there? <laughs> <laughs> You're wasting the chorizo. <laughs> okay. Will it dumpling? Uh-uh. No. No. Mm. You know the best way to wash down leather is with sperm from a fish. That's right. The uh, caviar is not the only fish delicacy. Uh, when you can also get cod milt. Cod, cod milt. milt. Will, Will it, it dumpling? dumpling? Now, uh, the, Jap the Japanese word for this is shiraku, which literally translated means white children. Well, it's white and it, it makes it, children. It, yep, it's fish um, children. Now, in this, this hold doesn't on, look. Hold on, Link. Let me look bad. Let me break it to you. Chase gave me a bowl of this stuff, just straight up. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, it looks like a brain. That is the most heinous looking. And smelling thing. My ma my tongue is like retreating down the back of my throat, and my eyes are starting to water. But why, 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 why do people eat it? Yeah, yeah. Let it's, me eat the dumpling. Move that away. What are we gonna call these spermlings? What if this is fabulous, and this becomes the pièce de résistance of our food court menu? <laughs> we could call it pièce de résistance instead of calling it like cod sperm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More people might buy it. Yeah, right, right. They, they say what's in it. We're like, no Just worry, try it. don't worry, don't Just worry. Just try it. Nobody knows what milt is. Milt's like an old man. Oh, they, they named a dish after somebody. Yeah, we did. His name's Milt. Come on, man. Just dink it, mm. dink it, and sink it. <laughs> I'm just looking at it. It's so slimy. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the part of the mall that doesn't sell cod sperm. I'm going into Brookstone. I'm in a massage chair. Oh yeah, I'm in a different massage chair, but I am right next to you. And they turn it on. They said, "Sir, you're gonna have to leave. It's been three hours." As long as I don't. <laughs> it's helping. Being in Brookstone with my eyes slightly crossed, I feel like I could eat anything. Look at that circular thing that has a little electricity come out of it, and you touch it, and all the electricity goes to your. Finger, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me that. Whoa, it's two hundred dollars. No, I don't want it. Ooh, mine's crawling down my chopstick. Look. And you know what? Mm -mm. I'm gonna finish this sucker off. Really? I'm gonna dip this in sriracha though. I'm gonna dip mine in this. Oh, I'm shaking. All right. <clears throat> this is for you, Milt. Procreate. <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't help. Could you leave Brookstone? <laughs> you, go to, you go to Radio Shack. And get me some adapters while you're in there. Oh. Oh gosh, it's, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. I'm out. I'm out. I'm flat out of sperm. <laughs> you can do it, man. We could set up right between the Brookstone and the Radio Shack. We're not in the food court. We're not in the food court. We're, We're in the mall, the yeah, regular part. Yeah. Step right up, get your sperm. Take a dumpling, dumpling. on us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sperm, uh, will it dumpling? Well, let me clarify. Oh. Fish sperm, will it dumpling? No. no. All right, guys. We've answered the questions that have been uh, looming over your uh, over your your dinner table. I got a whole lot more with that this game month. <laughs> But thanks for liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing this video and the joys of uh, Cod Milt. Oh, you know what time it is. Hi, I'm Laura from Cardiff, Wales, and it's time to spin the Wheel of Mythicality. If you miss Link's Wings, but you can still get them on his bobblehead, limited supply. When these are sold out, Link's Wings are gone officially forever. Retly.com slash store. There's the dish, and click through to Mythical Mall. We're gonna get the mythical crew to taste some of this stuff. That's right, they deserve it. We're selling a used shower loofah. All right, everyone, young and old, male and female, I don't care. Come but on especially up. for you ladies, we got Ooh. something soft. Oh, the men love a loofah Duh. too. I love it, a loofah. It, it, it really, it's got, uh, what do you call it when you rub stuff against? Exfoliating. That's it what I was looking for. Exfoliates. Now, it, it's exfoliated someone else a it's, lot already. That's right. It's been, it's, uh, you've been used. But you know what? It, it's, it's worn down, so it's not so prickly. It's soft. It's a soft exfoliation. Yeah. And it's, he was a clean man. He's dead now. And we only, we were, he died while we, we were using the loofah on him. So yeah. I guess it technically has been used on a dead body. Take a dump on us.
Dumpling. Dumpling on us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, I think it's, it's, it's really important. That's important. important. <laughs> it's really important to include the lean part. <laughs> no more I think about it, I think it should just be take a dump on it. <laughs>